Setting up annotation standards. Title block. So we're talking about editing the title block, making one that is more to our liking. So let's go to the project browser and just scroll down to Sheets. Double click on A1 Cover Sheet. So this is the title block that we've been using up until now, and it's a little bit simple. So let's expand upon it a little bit. We can click on this family, and then in the ribbon, you can click on Edit Family. When I click on that, it's going to open up the title block in the Revit Family Editor. So here we are at our Revit Families chart. And look, where does this one fit in? Well, this one is a component family. And inside of that, you can make different types and parameters. But inside of this family, there also will be other types and parameters sort of buried within this family itself, which is the title block. And we'll take a look at each of those. Well, one of those families is this line here. It's actually under a subcategory as title blocks. And this provides the border. This does print. And you can see that it's 8.5 by 11. And you can make that any size that you want. And that's how big the title block is going to print. That's basically the paper size. It is the paper size. You can draw more lines. If I go to Create Line, I can choose from the subcategory thin lines, medium lines, or wide lines. If I click on thin lines, I'm going to just click and draw a line right across there. Okay. I'm going to click right in here, and maybe I want that to be half inch. Or maybe I want it to be 9 sixteenths. So you can draw all of these lines, which help define what your title block is going to be. I just hit Escape twice to get out of the drawing a line command. Now you'll also notice that there's text and there's labels. They're different. Text, as you can see here, this is text. It's static. It doesn't change. It's a title, client name. This right here is a label. It does change. So depending on the project, depending on the client, it's going to change. We can add in more of these in the following way. So if I go to Create, notice you have Labels and Text. I'm going to click on Text. Click on a location on screen. And we could call this one Project Name, semicolon. OK. And then we could add in a label. Create. Label. Click. And we can choose from a list of predefined parameters. You can add to these, but out of the box, this is all they give you. So project name, add that. Sample value. I might want to just change that something different just so I can see that's different from the text. Project X, Y, Z. OK. Good. There it is. You can hit Escape twice to get out of that command as well. What else can you bring in? Well, you can also bring in images. If you go to the Insert tab in the ribbon, go to Image, and we'll notice that there's one here, 0301 Acme logo. Let's just click on that and open that, and then just left click and place it. So there it is. Change the size, put it approximately where you want, and there you go. OK, so let's just tweak this a little bit so it's more to our liking. First of all, the Text is a little big compared to the title. So if I click on the text, notice it's text, text note one. That's a family type. So it's the family is text, but then the type is text note one. If I were to just edit that type and not duplicate it, but actually just edit the size. So I'm going to call this, say, 3 sixteenths of an inch and apply that. Oh, that made it bigger. How about we do three thirty seconds an inch. Okay, that made it a little smaller. Maybe let's go even a little smaller than that. Five sixty fourths. Okay, good. And then okay to that. So that made all of them of the same name, all the text of the same name change. What about this right here? This is a little bit first of all, it looks like it may be justified wrong, like if the number were to get bigger it would go out of the title block. So let's change a little bit about this. This is a label, it's a family. So let's edit the type, duplicate, and I'm just going to call this right out number. And now it's going to be its own family. So let's change it to the size 
Right now the text size is that. Let's change it to a quarter inch and maybe make it bold. Okay. Okay, there it is. We also want its horizontal alignment to be the right hand side. See that? And maybe the bottom is better for it. There. Now we want to try to cram all this stuff in. Let's um, see if this will maybe get a little bit closer. So there's the client name, the project address. Things should line up, and it's not a bad idea just to drag things around and you'll see them line up. Okay, there's the sheet name. This looks like it could maybe move in a little closer to there. And again, it's trying to line up with other pieces of text and other things here. So that is tag one. So its alignment is left, but again, we don't want it crashing into any other text. Okay, we could probably move that over a little bit. Okay, there's our project. Project address is quite long. Um, we could also just bring in these now in a little bit closer. So project name. And this is just so custom, you know, a lot of times it just depends on your firm as to what you want to do with this information. Okay, so I'm just going to make a few more tweaks using the arrow keys there just to move that project address over a little bit. And we also want to fit in our logo. So it looks like we are going to have to just steal a little bit more space. So we could drag that up, bring our logo right in there. Now that buys us a little bit more room over here, so we can put that up. And maybe the sheet name can now go over there. The scale, you can move over here. So I'm using the control keys just to select them both. Again, though, you want to watch where the edge of this box is. So that looks good to me. And this is something that we may want to tweak as we go. Good, so let's save what we've done. Now, notice we're actually overwriting another title block. We don't want to do that. We're actually going to do a save as. I'm going to cancel this. Go to the application menu and do a save as family. And this is going to be called, and this is in our data set folder, 0301, simple A size title block. I'm just going to save that. OK. So save it again for good measure. Load it into the project, and it's here. Now you'll notice it didn't replace the other title blocks because it's actually a different name. It's a different family. So I can drop one in and then just delete it. And then I can replace this family. So if I just choose type selector, there it is. Now it's been changed. And I could do that with each one of the sheets. OK, so there's another sheet. Good. Another sheet. We may need to make some adjustments later on. There's another one. OK, this last sheet here is, we'll change that. Now notice the project name just says project name, and then the client name says Kids Dinosaur Center. We may want to change that. Oh, I just hit a double click and went into the family again. I don't want to do that. I'm just going to close that down, make sure I get back into my actual file here. There we are. OK, so I want to click and then click again on the project name. Actually, what I'll do first is copy the client name, Kids Dinosaur Center, as the project name. And then the client name, we could call it Museum of Alberta, where there's a lot of dinosaur bones. Now, because that's a label, no matter where we look on the sheets, it's going to be changed and it's going to be right. Okay, let's go to our cover sheet view and just do a zoom extents, save what we've done, and close. And that concludes this video.